Well, in honor of Black History Month, can you tell me about the importance of integrating Black history in our classrooms and curriculum? Sure, Devin. Well, you know, Black History Month, I, I think, is an excellent time to explore the Black experience, including the history and culture of African-American people and the numerous contributions they've made to our country and the world. Uh, but as with other, you know, themed months, it's important not to isolate Black history and culture into one month during the year. Uh, black history really is American history and should be integrated into the curriculum throughout the school year. You know, the histories, the stories, the voices of Black people should be celebrated, honored, and profiled in school curricular every day as a way of providing a rich context and diverse perspective for the present. Now, Dr. Corson, I think you hit the nail right on the head, right? We know Black history is American history. So best not to isolate it to just one month, but to integrate it all year long. So what advice can you share with other administrators or other uh, education professionals who are trying to embark on this journey with integrating such curriculum and celebrations? Yeah, well, I think it's important to really to, uh, you know, help our students uh, think about history as a way to think like a historian, not because we want students necessarily to become historians, but because we really want students to have the skills uh, to make meaning out of complex problems, apply learning to new situations, and really draw conclusions to make compelling arguments. And I really think that this can only be done when we think about embedding rich perspectives and insights from a variety of of traditional and current uh, voices within our history to offer those kind of perspectives that are going to help our students really think critically for the skills that they're going to need throughout life. I agree. And I think there's this myth that exists that in terms of the benefits and the true impact of integrating Black history and just culturally relevant curriculum in general, that it only benefits one uh, uh, demographic. And that's just not true. This truly benefits everyone. And so with that being said, how does someone like yourself, a leader in a district, build buy-in from the staff to support this curriculum? Well, I, I do think, you know, it really begins, first of all, with a, a district having a commitment to a sense of diversity, to have a commitment to a sense of equity really is kind of a baseline for the beliefs of that district. I really think it, it believes uh, that, that it really begins there so that Every decision that you make in terms of the processes that you have as a district, in terms of the curriculum resources that you select as a district are really viewed through that lens of equity and diversity. And so that's really the place to start. And I, I think that, you know, every opportunity that we can use to embed uh, diversity, education, cultural inclusiveness within our work is important to do. I agree. So, and I know Paradise Valley has adopted an equity framework. And I know that was uh, very important to your board and to your leadership there. And so can you share with us maybe perhaps an example of how PV is integrating Black history into the curriculum? Sure. Well, you know, as part of our district's uh, equity work, you know, we've examined a number of our processes to ensure that we're creating an inclusive community. And one of those specific practices that, that we have ventured is ensuring that our curriculum resources are culturally inclusive and relevant. And so as part of every curriculum adoption that we do, for example, we elevate the importance of choosing resources that present diversified voices and contributions. And I think because of this, our PB Schools curriculum includes diverse literature from traditional authors and new voices in the form of poems and stories, plays, and informational texts that are reflective of our diverse students and their backgrounds. And that, in essence, really leads our teachers to designing really dynamic experiences for our students. Everything from, you know, studying uh, diverse works in art and recreating art uh, that really exemplify uh, and respond to culturally uh, diverse voices, to uh, novels that are being read within classes and, and students really participating in project rich learning experiences that help them see a variety of perspectives around historical events and new uh, situations that arise. I'm glad that PV has taken a deep dive into really all the contributions the Black community has done for our society. So thank you again for your commitment with that. Certainly, we want to remind folks that this journey towards equity is, is not a sprint, but it's a marathon. It's a marathon that you build upon. And sometimes you, you might take small steps toward that, but all the small steps add to a greater impact. 
right, of dismantling any sort of institutional barriers that might be holding back our students from reaching their full potential. So if you haven't had the opportunity to work with ASVA, we have a wonderful framework for equity. We also have an, a wonderful anti-racist resolution which helps build that foundation that Dr. Carlson was talking about. Build a foundation so that you have something to work towards. And so I wanna thank you here for joining us uh, for Black History Month. And I wanna thank you for your commitment towards equity.